Hi, my name is Ben Strength. Uh, this video is for the Business 690 Portfolio Project for our video presentation and I look forward to sharing some information with you about my experience in this program and some major takeaways uh, from my time here. When I first decided to ask the question, why an MBA, um, it came to my mind after college. I graduated from Eugene Bible College in 2007, um, and I just thought to myself at that time, business was an area where I definitely wanted to pursue and uh, go into. And it wasn't um, long thereafter that I met with uh, Kathy Sweetman at Northwest Christian and had spoke to her about getting into a program there. And I had to jump into some classes that were prerequisites, and so I got put into uh, Excel class. And um, I tell you, honestly, I think I lasted about two weeks before I realized that that was not my passion and uh, removed myself from the program. So I had a lack of stick to early on. Um, and it wasn't until a little, a little under 10 years later that I decided to come back and uh, pursue an MBA. And in that time, I've had the opportunity to work for several startups and tech companies. Um, I've had a chance to work as an operations manager for a large relocation firm that we grew from several employees up to 50 I'm very proud of the work that we did there. And over the last three years, I've worked in the financial services industry and had an opportunity to work for a company called Kravitz Inc., who's a boutique uh, financial services firm. And in that, in that business environment, I just saw such a value and such a deep respect for an MBA that I felt like it was something not only did I long for on a professional level, I think in the back of my mind for the past 10 years, I'd, I'd wanted it on a personal level as well uh, to accomplish something um, that I felt like was prestigious, something that would give me a whole new set of tools and opportunities to pursue business um, far beyond the capacity that I'm in um, right now. So that was my main reason for pursuing an MBA. Once I finally made the decision to pursue an MBA, the next thing was to pursue an MBA that had a faith background. I didn't want to have to sacrifice academics for faith or faith for academics. I wanted an integration of both. And that's exactly what I received at Northwest Christian. Not only through uh, discussion posts with classmates and complete assignments and different projects, but also in every discussion that I have with the professors, whether it was over the phone or email or even in person over coffee, um, the great thing about it was I never felt like I had to make a sacrifice. I never felt like my faith had to come second or my academics had to come second. The program at Northwest Christian, if it's done anything perfectly, in my opinion, is it's allowed for an integration of both. It has not forced anyone in that program to sacrifice academics for faith or faith for academics, which in my opinion is so incredibly valuable, not just for as a university to state that to the world, but as a business professional to state that to our employees and those who are above us, as well as, well as our family who sees us living our life out for God. And I think that that is not something we can afford um, in this time to sacrifice. One of the most powerful things I've taken away from this program has been an understanding to be able to hear and to know my own voice in a very loud world and to know the voice of God in a very loud world. And in the business culture that, that I work in, the financial services, um, a lot of times there's not much of an allotment for your faith life. And so I've been convinced for a long time that that's something I kind of had to keep on the side. And though I live as a believer and I make ethical decisions as a believer, I believe this program has challenged me to think differently. This program has challenged me to understand the value of being a believer in the world workplace in a whole new way, to implement those Christian ethics, to implement sustainability ideas, not just because it's something that sounds good, but it's because it's what God would have us do. One of the key takeaways in this program for me has been an understanding of corporate culture like I never thought I would have. To understand why businesses do what they do, what makes them successful, what makes them fail on an internal level when it comes to their interaction with employees and their engagement with employees and how they bring in customers and how they deal with stakeholders. Um, I think for me as a professional and someone who's owned a small business for 10 years, to understand in a different way how to interact with people on, on the internal and external side of things has been um, what I would consider incredibly invaluable. Another key takeaway for me in this program has been the ability uh, to listen to others um, more than ever before. I think as a professional, a lot of times we get going 100 different directions, and especially when someone's trying to talk to us about business, we feel a sense of confidence in the work that we've accomplished. This program, especially through discussion posts, has taught me that I don't know as much as I thought I know, but there's a lot out there to learn. And I believe that the way this is structured in the sense of discussion posts and response posts, um, it, it allows us to interact with people from so many different fields and to gain knowledge and experience from people who maybe in a, in a greater sense, if we 
you're just sitting next to them at a restaurant. We may not take that from them, but because we know they're pursuing an MBA, because they're serious about their professional life and their business life and the integration of faith, we can look at them and go, yeah, I can learn from that. I can learn from a healthcare professional. I can learn from an attorney. I can learn from all these different people. And I think for us to understand the importance of that, not just on an MBA level, but on a life level, I think is one of the major takeaways that I just think for me personally will be something I'll probably never truly get over. I hope it's something that changes my professional life, my personal life as well. If I had to sum up my program review in two words, the words would be thanking you. Uh, thank you to Northwest Christian University for the opportunity to pursue my MBA. Uh, thank you to Dr. Diffender for, for all your faith and your trust in me throughout this program and the program that you've created and developed here at Northwest Christian. Um, I would encourage anyone watching this, uh, maybe outside of administration, anyone considering getting their MBA, if you're looking to being challenged with your faith and challenged in an academic setting, I don't know of a better opportunity to do it. Um, so I would highly encourage you to uh, give them a call and to pursue Northwest Christian University uh, if an MBA is on your radar. Thank you.